Okay, welcome back to my attempt at solving the cryptic crossword in the New Yorker. This is the puzzle for today, Sunday, September 4th, 2022. This is a puzzle by Emily Cox and Henry Rathvon, two very well-respected constructors in the puzzle world. The bios below the puzzle read, Emily Cox has been publishing puzzles with her partner Henry Rathvon since 1977, and Henry Rathvon has been publishing puzzles with his partner, Emily Cox, since 1977. I recently attempted a puzzle by these two in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it's their monthly cryptic. I was thoroughly stumped. I'm not sure I got a single answer right. Um, but, you know, maybe it was just that time of the day. Sometimes these things just don't come to me. Um, I'm also feeling a little under the weather right now, so uh, I'm going to give it my best, but... Um, We'll see. However, if you are watching this, then I was successful at solving it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's jump in. Let's give it a shot. Okay, first clue: come across injured horse four four. So we have one word here and one word here. Come across injured horse. Um, so. This is this is already very tricky. Um, it's not it's not clear what uh, what's being requested of us right now. Um, you know, injured is contextual. Uh, I think that makes it pretty clear that this is going to be an anagram. Um, but what's tricky about that is we're not sure if a cross is being anagrammed or horse is being anagrammed, uh, and of course. Uh, that's only five letters, so that's only six letters, and we need eight. So um, clearly we're going to have to combine some words, do something kind of fun here. Um, this might be something we have to come back to, because it's just, it's not coming coming to me. Let's try one down. Explorer initially bagged a large snake. Okay. Um, well, initially... Uh, almost always just means to take the first letter of something, um, you know, the initials. Uh, hmm. And I'm trying to think of a six-letter explorer or a six-letter snake, because I keep, remember, a cryptic crossword is still a crossword. You're, you're looking for a synonym, of course. Um, explorer is Dagama one word or two? Uh, I don't think that is right. Um, okay, but th there are some other letters here that um, these two constructors are providing us. Um, generally, A. Um, sometimes you can just take that letter. And L uh, for large. So I think we actually have two letters here. We might have actually A and L. Um, for a snake. And if it is snake, we have to be careful that it's not um, like a slithering snake. It might be like a cheat, someone who's untrustworthy. I'm not sure, but it's like I said, this is these two are very tricky, so I'm, I'm not I'm not sure what what's going on here. Um, initially bagged. Um, you know, this might be like B A L S initially B A L S no I don't think so uh, okay uh, stumped again so we're gonna have to move on family member sitting setting aside US money okay um, family member setting aside US money well, maybe I'm just, I don't have it today because I, I once again, I'm, I'm not sure how to read this. However, I think we do have two of four letters. We have U and S. So I think we can safely say that we're either using these two or deleting these two. Um, I'm trying to think of a, a family member that could remove... Um, the letters U and S. Yeah, 
I think we might be looking for a four-letter word for money, which might be something like peso or uh, real. Hmm. I don't think we're looking for a U.S. currency. That's USD. Um, no, I, I don't think. I think it's something like a family member minus the letters U.S. for a, a four-letter word for money. That is tough. I'm trying to think of my family members. And even trickier, this might not be like like a human family. It might be like, you know, a species or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is very tricky. Let's try and get on the board here. Connected evenly at some point. Okay, well, evenly... Um, Sometimes this, this means to take the even letters of words. So if we do that, we have O, we have N, we have C, and we have E. I believe that is just once. And the word once is an, uh, sorry, a synonym for at some point. So I think that looks good. Okay, that is not looking any clearer. What is a four-letter word for money that ends in N? I'm not sure. But we're on the board, so that's good. Let's try another four-letter one. Something easy. Some gum in taste. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, four letters. Some gum in taste. Now, this word sum, it's really important. It is telling us that we're going to take some letters from this, this clue. And I'm hoping just by saying that, if you're watching this, you can see the word that is hiding in these three words, which is mint. So I think some gum also is nice because some gum is minty. So I think that that also is working well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. A five letter clue. Spotted owls beginning slowly. Mm, okay. Spotted owls beginning slowly. It's tricky. Um, let's see here. Spotted. That is tough. Spotted. Spotted makes me think it's visible. But if we have an N here, um, the Ns are here. There's also an N here. So like mint, you know, some, um, this N is not really working in that, that fashion. Beginning slowly. Owl's beginning is an O. Um, that's just, that's very literal. But also the beginning of slowly is S. Are we looking for a five-letter word for spotted? Or are we looking for a five-letter word for slowly? Um, I'm not sure. It's just not coming to me. These, these two are very tricky. This Explorer one is not looking good. Come across an injured horse. Well, I think we're now getting closer to where we're going to be anagramming. Uh, we have an O in come. We also have an M in come. Um, the problem is that we need eight letters and come across is uh, 10, I think, if I'm reading that correctly. Um, so I don't think, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure where, where wh which letters we're gonna be removing. This is, this, is, this is very tricky. Gave rise to plot involving Republican. 
gave rise to plot involving Republican. I think a Republican is probably just R. Um, I don't think we're looking for a four letter uh, person's name. That is also a Republican. This might be GOP. That That's three letters. But I don't think that makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm just a four letter word with GOP. I, I can't really think of that. Um, I think what to do for this, this, this clue, it's not coming to me just yet, but we're going to be taking a three letter word for plot. And then we're going to throw in the letter R in there. And that'll give us a four letter word for gave rise. Hmm. It's, it's, it's very tough. Loose cover up cost about a pound. Loose cover up cost about a pound. Hmm. There are a number of ways to read this clue, a number of things that are jumping out at me. I don't know the answer yet, but it's not it's not quite clear um, as to how to solve it. For example, a loose cover-up, that is seven letters, um, but I don't see a T in cover-up. So to anagram, you know, it, it's loose, so if these letters are loose, that means we're anagramming. I don't see a, a T in cover up, so I, I, I'm not I'm not really seeing how that would make sense. Uh, there is a T in cost, um, so that is a little bit of a tip off. Um, but then we have some other words here about. Um, you know, if you ever write an email, you might see re r e um, in regards to. Sometimes you can actually just reduce this word about to r e. So. Um, and similarly with pound, um, if you use the, uh, the unit of measurement, the pound, um, LB. So we actually have some, some letters here. We have RE, we have A, and we have pound. So, um, sorry, LB. So just as an example, this is what we're working with here. We have RE, we have A, and we have LB. Uh, we actually already have an E in one, so I can get rid of one. Um, I hope that made sense. We have RE about, we have A, because it's right there, and we have pound, LB. Um, but, uh, you know, again, I, I just, I don't see it. And then cost? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. These letters might be relevant later, um, but I just think we need more more on the board to uh, to help us there. Let's keep moving. Let's see if we can get something, something to stick here. Okay, revamped Hellenic yarn of a sort. Immediately revamped, that's anagram. And Hellenic is eight letters. So, I, I, you know, a, a traditional crossword mind might be thinking, what is a Hellenic yarn? It's, it's not really um, useful to think that way. Uh, you have to just, you have to work with these puzzles. You have to work um, very methodically, um, almost mathematically even. Um, you can almost put brackets around these. So Hellenic, let's revamp Hellenic. Um, and let's just start moving some, some words around. Yarn of a sort. So this might be a type of fabric. It might be a story. Um, let's, I think the C and the H are looking good together. Let's try that. Um, I think an L seems here. That's not bad. Let's move the L and the C. Um, and let's move the C and the E. Let's move the C and the H. Um, let's move the N and the L. Um, the I and the L. Chino. Nope. Um, maybe I. An E, the N in the E, the L in the E, Chanel. Um, 
I have no idea if this is a real word. Um, it also might be I N E Chenille. I could probably look that up, but I'm trying to just keep the puzzle sort of, you know, just this. I just want to focus on this right now. I don't want to cheat. Um, this this feels like it might be some sort of fabric, um, some sort of French fabric. I have no idea. But if this is a C, that I think that does look good. Uh, let's see if that works. Average, like a house in the Andes. Hmm. A house in the Andes is probably a casa. So that feels good. But why is it average? It's really tough. If that is Casa, then this might be an S. Cut stickers back. Cut stickers back. Okay, I think this is solvable. Um, the S with casa, if that's right, that actually helps us. Um, a four-letter word for cut. You just don't even worry about sn stickers back just yet. What is a four-letter word for cut? We have slice, that's not four letters, that's five. We have snip, um, pair. And I think snip, if you, if you reverse snip, you get pins. Um, and a pin is a kind of sticker. pins back is snip. Honestly, I, I, I can't think of anything else that it feels good to me. Casa does feel right. I'm not sure why that is correct, though. Shiny, silver, rubbish. Eight letters. Shiny, silver, rubbish. Well, what can we start to eliminate? We we know that it's not an anagram. There's no A here. Um, although rubbish is uh, a very uh, common word, I think, to indicate an anagram. Although I, I just, I, I, don't, I don't see that being the case here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, shiny, a letter word for shiny. Hmm. Let me think about this. Eight letter word for shiny. Or an eight letter word for rubbish. My brain is mush. I don't think of it. I cannot. I can't think of it. We have an L here. We're not sure if this is right. Left a pair of stirrups in the back. Okay. Left, we have, it's L. If it was right, that would probably be an R. Left and right, L and R. Hope that makes sense. We have the, uh, the L, and we have an A for left A. Uh. But a pair of stirrups, um, my brain thinks R and R, that's the pair. But I think it's actually easier than that. I think you're just taking a pair of letters, not the R, R. And if you have L and you ha have A and you have an S and a T, that spells last, um, that is in the back, that's a four-letter word for in the back, I think that is looking good. So I think this Chanel, whatever, um, Chanel, whatever this word is, I, I've never heard of it. Um, part of the reason why I like doing these is, uh, is learning new words. So we'll look this up later, um, but uh, yeah, I think this is looking good so far. And what the heck is this? Shiny silver rubbish. There's a word in my head that's just not coming to me. I think what is going to happen here is that we're going to have a small word for shiny, 
and then a word for silver, and that will make combined a word for rubbish. It also might be the other way around. It might be uh, silver right here, and then rubbish right here, and that will spell a word that means shiny. I don't know, um, but if it is shiny or rubbish, then this might be like, it might be a, a, an adjective. So this might end in IC for tick or AL for tall. Um, you know, something that's shiny, it might be uh, something ick. Don't know. Don't know. But there's, you know, we can, we can kind of suss out what it might be just by using the words that we have. Okay, mark centers of stray bits. Mark. Mark. Well, centers. Stray. Bits. Mark centers. The centers of stray bits is like this. Raby. But that doesn't make any sense. And stray makes me think that we have an anagram of bits, but, you know, I don't, I don't think that makes any sense. Because we have an A here, and there's no A in bits. Uh, but there is a word with A in stray, does, and that has five letters. Does stray anagram, is bits an anagram indicator? Stray, if it, if stray anagrams, stary, mark. Um, let's move some letters around here. Uh, Let's move the Y and the T, um, the R and the S. I just I the T and the R, the R and the Y trays mark centers. Trays is a word, but is it mark centers? I really don't know. I'm going to delete it for now. Check covering one. Again, if we do these sort of procedurally, check covering one. Um, check. I don't think it's a financial check. It might just be like look or something. C. We have a S. We have an E here. I'm not sure if this is right, however. Covering one. One, we can just take the letter I. So there's going to be an I in here somewhere. Uh, covering weight. One weight. Um, one weight could be like, well, we have the I, so, it, but the one weight watcher. Check. Covering one weight watcher. Six letter word for weight watcher. Which might be dieter. Okay, if it is dieter, let's just put this in. A six letter word for Weight Watcher is dieter. It's just straight up, that's what that is, but let's see if that makes sense. Um, we have the I covering one. Check is like deter, covering one. Covering, sorry, I should explain this. Covering um, means um, there's a type of clue in the cryptic world called a container um, where one word throws in some other letters. Um, for example, in this this uh, this clue, dieter, um, the word deter is uh, covering, aka you know it, it contains the letter i, which is a Roman numeral of one. Um, sometimes you have to just reduce, similar to last with the l, you have to reduce the words um, into smaller letters. So this is looking better and better. Weight Watcher, dieter, check deter as in like a check and balance. Um, so that's, that's good. That's good. I think that's looking really good. Um, and, and now we have the T and the A in 
in Stray. Did I just miss something? I don't think so. I, I, I like R Y S Y. No, that's these are not words. I'm. Am I just not seeing something? I'm not sure. <sighs> Gave rise to plot involving Republican. Plot. What is a small word for plot? And I don't think this is like a story plot. I think this is like land. A plot of land. Sod. It's not really a plot. Sod, S-O-D plus R. We have a D. S-O-D plus R spells nothing. Gave rise to. But we do have the D, so that makes sense. This I mean, gave rise. You you have to um, you have to remember when you're doing these. You have to follow the tense that they give you. So gave rise is past tense. So we have D. So this might be a this might be an E. Um, in fact, if it's past tense, this might be an E, and then we have an R. So this is either an R is here, or it's here, and I, I don't think, like rude, R U E D, rud, no, no. I think it goes here, and I think bed is our plot, like a bed of of roses. That feels good. Bread gave rise to. And I think that actually is really clever because um, bread rises as well. That's not intentional. I don't think that's what the pun is. Like bread is, bread and bread are, are two different words. Um, but uh, I think this is just a really clever use of, of language to even further hint towards um, this is the answer. So yeah, this is looking good. Whatever this word is, Chanel. Uh, Chanel is uh, looking better and better. Lebanese port. Heard. Beloved. Cheer. I am going to be really embarrassed here because I am really bad with my my world cities sometimes. Um, but I think if you know the answer to Lebanese port, you whatever port city is in Lebanon, um, you probably know the answer to this. Um, but, but heard means that this is going to be a homophone. So we're going to be taking a word that sounds like a Lebanese port or a beloved cheer, and that is going to be, um, they're going to sound the same. Um, if this is Chanel, like I was saying, um, this might be an E or an I. It's going to be a vowel. That's for sure. But let's come back. Um, I don't know the answer to this. And I'm not sure it's gonna it's gonna come up come to me just now. <clears throat> okay, cook well when wearing retro shade of green. Whew. Lots to work out here. Um, cook well might be cook the letters in well, which means like anagram W E L L. Uh, maybe um, we could also be just looking for a six letter word for cook. Um, not sure. Uh, when wearing retro shade of green. Now, retro makes me think um, that we're going to be retrospective. In other words, looking backwards of our shade of green. And if that shade of green is something like olive, I, I see an I. Okay. Let's... No, but even that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> hmm. Very tricky. Let's see if we can get a long one. Whoa. Okay. Exposing uranium close to object. 
exposing uranium close to object. Uh, okay, well, first of all, this might be object. Exposing uranium. I, similar to my world capitals, I'm also a little shaky on my uh, periodic table. So I don't know the element. I don't know the letters of uranium. What is that? Is it just you? It's 10 letters, so that's, I mean, these are only, it's only eight. And H is still here, and that, that, that looks good. This looks, this does look right. So I, I'm inclined to keep Chanel, whatever that is. Um, but maybe close to object might be like hand, something hand. If this is a D, this is just a guess, but let's say this is a D. Shiny silver rubbish. Man. These two are too clever for me. Sometimes you just get your, uh, your butt handed to you. Okay. Cash dispensing devices at malls all missing. Okay. Uh, this is a bit of a gimme. What is a four letter word for cash dispensing devices? You don't even have to look at this part of the clue. Uh, those are ATMs. I think that's pretty straightforward, but let's. Let's work through it. Um, we, we've, we've used this part of the clue. We can actually just not even look at it anymore. But um, you can start to see ATM right there. It's just right in the clue. Um, and if you get rid of the letters ALL, because they are missing, uh, you have ATM, um, ALLS, with the ALL gone. That just spells ATMs. So pretty straightforward. I hope that makes sense. Um, but it does it does give us uh, it does give us uh, something to work with here because this might be now this looks like thing which is an object and like I said before uh, with this clue gave rise to plot uh, we have to match the tense and the tense in this is uh, ing I am, my brain is mush again. I'm not sure what the what that is. It a gerund? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but I think it's pretty clear that it's going to end in ing. Um, and also that just says thing, which is an object. So uranium close to object. Um, exposing. Exposing. I will say, I'm happy about this. We worked this one out. I'm not even sure how we did it, but it's looking better and better, like I said. A retro shade of green. Cook well while wearing retro shade of green. I'm just going to take a sip of coffee here. Uh, not a lot of words that could fit here. Agitator, shiny silver rubbish. Why is agitator? Why does that make sense? Hmm, it doesn't. It definitely does not make sense. And this would be II, that also doesn't make sense. So I think we can safely get rid of that. A glitter? A uh, glitter? Is an eight layer word for shiny, but why is that? Oh! Sometimes you just have to shake your head sometimes because you're just not getting it fast enough. Um, okay, back to the periodic table. Uh, AG is silver. I should, have I should have called that out way earlier. That's embarrassing. Uh, AG is silver. Um, a, a, I remember my um, 
my grade eight science teacher or grade seven. I'm not sure. It's literally two decades ago. Um, silver and gold. I remember my teacher used to remind us that, hey, G, you stole my silver. Hey, you, you stole my gold. So I'm not sure if that helps you, but hey, G, silver, rubbish, litter. So I was right. I was right that there was going to be a sort of compound. I have just never heard of this word, a glitter. I've heard of glitter, but I've never heard of a glitter. So that's a little literary for me. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Cook well when wearing retro shade of green. Uh, I think... I was going to think this was embroil, but that doesn't make any sense. If this, There's no B here. And also, embroil doesn't even fit. So what am I even talking about? <sighs> embroil. No. I was getting excited there. Beloved cheer. Uh, it's killing me that I am failing knowing this, this city. Oh my god. Beirut? Yeah, no, of course. It's Beirut. What am I... Okay, Bay, as in like B-A-E. Um, and then to cheer for someone is to root for them. I can't believe I... I took, again, my... Like I said, I'm under the weather. My brain is mush. Uh, this is Beirut. This is my. <laughs> this is just oof. Oof. Chenille. Okay. We are coming together here. Much longer than I would have liked to be, but you know I'm trying to work through these. Uh, so. Okay. Cook well when sharing retro when wearing retro shade of green. Emeril is a cook. The guy who says bam. Emeril. And Emerald. I don't know. I think it's right though. Just to work through this one more time, we are looking for a six-letter word for cook. Um, I didn't think it would be a person's name, but I think it is. I think this is just the man, Emeril. Um, not sure what the the well is about. Um, Emerald. Um... Then again, I see. A retro shade of green is lime. I see lime actually here. And we actually have RE. Um, and well actually might be um, like the word um or er. Well, you know, well, um, er, uh, well. So lime plus er is emerald for a cook. Very clever, very tricky. That is, uh, that's some pretty galaxy brain stuff. Um, I'm surprised I even got it. I, uh, Mark centers, um, trays is so clearly like, or sorry, stray, these letters. I, my brain wants to put S and Y here, but I just don't quite understand that. Stray bits. Mark centers. Don't know. I don't know. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, world cities. I'm being tested once again. German city breaches age limit at a high level. Ten letters. German city breaches age limit at a high level. 
German city. What are my German cities? Dresden, Munich, Berlin. Okay, we have B E R L I N. Okay. And then an age limit. What is an age limit? Okay, at a high level, timber line, like a tree line, timber line. Oh my goodness. Age limit is time. Oh my God. German city breaches. So similar to the container um, uh, type of clue with, with diet, dieter, with the I being in the word deter, the word Berlin, German city, um, thankfully, it was it was you know the most obvious German city um, in a word time age limit. I, I, I'm surprised again age limit. That's very tricky. Uh, okay, we're we're getting there. I'm wow. What the heck is this? Mark centers of stray bits. I am missing one letter, and it's still not coming to me. Trait. I'm just, I'm looking at my keyboard right now. I mark. I mean, it, a mark is a trait. You know, that's the mark of a a good puzzle. Let's put it in. I don't get it. Oh, I see. It is trait. Um, the centers of stray and bits just don't look at the words, the letters on either side of these words, and you have trait. So get rid of the S and the Y. You have T-R-A from stray, and you have I-T from bits if you get rid of the B and the S. That's, again, extremely literal. Um, the centers of these two. I just, what I think is really tricky about um, this puzzle so far is the um, the word that I'm trying to find, uh, the synonym, uh, are just, you know, a bit more obscure than normal. So I don't mind that, but uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely a, a tough puzzle. Um, very proud of myself for getting Timberline. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Family member sitting aside US money. Is it skin? Is some skin in the game? This family could be S, sorry, kin. Family could be kin. And if it's setting aside US, I'm not prepared to put that in yet, but. I don't know where the U goes. Um, that feels sort of arbitrary. Um, when we first looked at this clue, I thought we were going to have the letters U-S in the answer, and U-S-I-N does not make any sense, neither does S-U-I-N. Um, so uh, I'm not going to do that, but um, kin does look good. Member setting aside U-S. Another family member might be son, S-O-N, but again, not sure why that, don't know. <laughs> Come across injured horse. Come across injured horse.
injured might be lame. But what is the horse? And come across might be something like into, like run into, but that doesn't make sense, obviously. This might be an N. Oh. Uncle Monroe. Cracked. Well, okay. Two letters, four letters, two letters, four letters. We have six letters here. We need six letters to go in this clue. Um, we also have an R in Monroe, so I think it's pretty clear that we're going to crack Monroe. And if this is an N, from into, um, that might be N O, and that leaves us with, if the R is right, which I think it is, that leaves us with M and O and E, which I think spells no more, which is a nice way of saying uncle. <sighs> Loose cover up cost about a pound. Hmm. Oh, okay. This just came to me. Um, a family member with the letters U.S. in it. I should have just thought of that before. But a family letter, a family member with the letters U.S. is a cousin. Um, if you get rid of the letters U.S. and cousin, you get coin. Very tricky, but um, you know, again, doable. Um, okay, this is going to be a gauntlet. I think this is looking really good so far, but um, we're going to have to really focus here. Come across injured horse. Oh man, let me take a sip of coffee here. <sighs> Explorer initially bagged a large snake. So I think we're going with an, a name here. Similar to Emerald, I think this is a, a proper noun. Um, da Gama is what I had initially. Um, but that would be, That doesn't really make sense. Come across. I think this is into. Injured horse. Um, and now, I, now I'm thinking it's Pinto. Isn't that a type of horse? Jump into? Come across? Jump into? Injured. Lamp into? Ramp into? That's a P, which I think it is. <sighs> okay. Um, pity musketeer after passing. What are the three musketeers' names? I don't remember them. This puzzle is really testing my my sick brain. But a, a six-letter word for pity is pathos. I'm pretty sure his name is something very similar to that. I, I wish I could explain this further, but without even looking at this, this clue, pity and pathos is looking really good. Loose cover-up. Cost about a pound. Looks like bathrobe, which is a loose cover-up. I thought it was going to be an anagram, but it's not. It's just... It's just a loose cover-up. Let's, let's look at this one more time. Cost about a pound. P 
pound might be throb. A throb, a pound. About could be B. The word cost is what's throwing me off because, uh, you know, I really thought that was going to be relevant, but I don't think it is. I think about is just like, you know, existing. B. Um, a throb. There might be another way to look at this clue, but that's the way it reads to me. Um, so, yeah. Um, spotted owls beginning slowly. Uh, I don't know. Spotted. Beginning slowly. I feel like there, this might be a musical clue. Um, like slowly in music, lento, is that a thing? Uh, Explose, exposing, unearthing. Oops. Oh, man. Come across injured horse. Jump into, bump into, oh my god, why did this take so long? Bump into, good lord. Bum is a great word for injured. Bum pinto, wow, oh my god. I Like I said, my brain is mush today. Um, but we got there eventually. Oh man, okay, we're, we're, we're getting this. I'm hoping I can do it before the hour. I can't believe this is actually happening. Explorer initially bagged a large snake. Who is the explorer? A large snake is a boa. Initially bagged is B. And then AL for a large balboa? I, I mean, Rocky Balboa? But maybe that's a, also an explorer's name. This does look like Lento. Um, oh my goodness, we actually solved the puzzle. 51 minutes, 21 seconds. I am uh, I'm surprised I got this far. This was a great puzzle. Uh, super tricky for me, at least, uh, in this state of mind. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, I, I love so many of these clues. They're just really tricky. Bathrobe, like, that's, that's beyond me. Uh, lose cover-up. Great. Yeah, definitely. Um, but so, so cryptic um i'm surprised this took me so long um this was just not coming to me but the bay root i love that that's really fun um chenille i've never heard of this word let's look it up A tufted, velvety cord or yarn used for trimming furniture and making carpets and clothing. Cool. Balboa Explorer. I see. Vasco Nunez de Balboa was a Spanish explorer, governor, and conquistador. Cool. Very cool. Tricky, very tricky. Uh, I'm gonna rest my brain. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm I'm amazed that we were able to solve this puzzle. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm gonna just oh I see <laughs> two down is fun. Um, exposing uranium close to object. You near thing. Unearthing exposing. 
uranium is just you. I should just I should trust my brain more. A G uh glitter. Stray bits. Lint O. Oh. If you spotted someone, you lent them some cash. So spotted lent owl's beginning is O. Oh. Lento slowly. Um yeah, I knew the answer, but I just wasn't able to figure out how it got there. So, you know, happy to see that I was right, but, uh, you know, reading these is always, um, it's always helpful because I can start to see, you know, how uh, these two constructors work. Uh, and you get to learn people's styles. Um, so, yeah, hats off to the constructors. This was a lot of fun, very tricky, and um, looking forward to next week's. Thanks so much.